Once again, oh dear gorgeous sexy souls of planet Earth, it is I again, Ancient Swan, the guy you were expecting it to be. And we're back once again with this map made by yours truly for that game we love. This is of course another CS2 map based around a tiny wee bit of history as they always are. What's the tiny wee map and history lesson today? Today, dearest beautiful friend, we are in Saudi Arabia. Not the mainland, but instead we are on the Farasan Islands, a small archipelago off the coast of Saudi Arabia in the Red Sea. These islands have a rich history that dates back to ancient times. Evidence suggests that the Farasan Islands were active in maritime trade and naval activities as early as the Roman period. A Latin military inscription dating back to 144 AD indicates the presence of a Roman garrison on the islands, highlighting the strategic importance of the islands in ancient times. It is thought that the Farasan Islands were originally part of the Roman province of Arabia Felix before being transferred to the province of Egyptus sometime in the middle of the first century AD. If true, this would make the Farasan Islands the Roman Empire's farthest outpost from Rome, that distance being almost 4,000 kilometers or 2,500 miles from the mother city. It was important in sealing and securing Rome's trade routes from as far away as India and the southern African continent. After the fall of the Western Roman Empire, the Farasan Islands remained under Byzantine control until the eventual Arab-Muslim conquest of the islands and its subsequent Islamization at the beginning of the 7th century AD. Today, the Farasan Islands are not only a haven for tourists, but also a protected nature reserve. The islands are home to diverse marine life, including dolphins and sea turtles. The preservation efforts aim to maintain the ecological balance and protect the island's unique environment. That is, at least, until you come along and build your city all over it. As always, these maps are made to reimagine history. What if Rome had never fallen? What if these islands had remained the empire's farthest settlement from Rome? What city might have grown here? How would it look today? Well, if you also need to find out, simply follow the link in the description below. Download the map and fill this nature reserve with concrete skyscrapers, office blocks and homeless tents, exactly as nature intended. Before we get into the map info, I must also remind you, because my wife demands it, that for each one of you who doesn't subscribe, my beautiful but completely batshit mental wife forces me to walk barefoot on hot sands until the soles of my feet burn like coals. She's actually just booked me a ticket to the Farasan Islands, where she has threatened to stick me and our only child into a box and leave us buried in the sand unless you subscribe. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I do like sand and beaches, but I don't like heat or being buried, so we'll see how that goes. Anyhow, here cometh the map information. Buildable area, 55%. Outside connections, road, rail, sea, air, power. Natural resources, wheat, 38.9 square kilometers, forest, 118 kilotons, or 76.1 kilotons, oil, 101 kilotons. Terrain, flat, flatty, flatty, flat, flat. And that's all for today, folks. I myself only recently found out about this Roman outpost just a few weeks ago, so I was more than happy to add this history lesson to the mix and a map for me to build a city on too. Let me know in the comments below how awesome your city goes. Thanks for watching, and as per always, I'm desperate to see you again next time. Cheers, my dears. Peace, love, and Farasan. Bye.